for those that haven't listened to that episode yet, do you want to just touch on um, uh, what it's all about? Well, the program I work in is uh, part of part of Bendigo Education Plan, which is um, the local uh, Department of Education. And the program is Select Entry Sports Program. We work with 250 student student athletes from year seven to year 12. So the students, they apply apply for the program and then get selected. And uh, they do two strength and conditioning sessions in school hours. And the fun foundation of our general physical preparation is athletic training and sports training and strength training. Uh, the athletic training is based on uh, on running drills and uh, running drills and plyometrics. How do you break down the um, the athletes when you've got a big group for those coaches listening that are wanting to develop this area? Uh, what are some of your favourite ways to, to teach young athletes? Well, I mean, from my experience with uh, young athletes, I, I find that the the best way to develop technique is through running drills because the very nature of the running drill is uh let's say the whole running cycle is uh, broken down on small segments mm -hmm. and when you use running drills actually we work on on the running technique it happens automatically and uh look um, we, uh, I mean, our students, our classes are based on years. So we, in one training session, we have only year seven students, then the next sessions year eight, then year mm -hmm. nine and 10. Uh, why do you think it's, it becomes so popular now, the French Bosch methodology? I've been coaching for 35 years and uh, I've been ob observing how every 10 years our uh how to say uh, young athletes are becoming uh, how to say more uh less coordinated mm -hmm. and uh we have to teach them uh, uh we have to teach them how to run in fact actually before you start to teach them how to run we teach them how to walk how to walk properly and i think this is all this is because of our our lifestyle our lifestyle style has changed a lot in the last 40 years uh we are more sedentary um, we move less and uh we just lose our natural ability to to run and move properly next part of our general physical preparation is uh, strength training mm -hmm. now during years seven and eight mobility flexibility static and dynamic uh, stability are priority in our program so we before you start to learn how to squat we develop some well sufficient mobility and, and stability uh, then during year seven our students learn step up body weight squat uh, goblet squat, bent and straight leg deadlifts, uh, then upper body pushing. We, we teach them how to do bench press with uh, dumbbells. I would be interested to know if Valeri has seen a change in kids being more scared to try because they've seen more perfect on various platforms and they don't want to be bad or be a true beginner sort of like what adam was touching on before potentially being nervous of making mistakes is, is that something that you, you're finding you're dealing with in the weight room more recently not at all no no our kids i mean they understand it's an um, educational program and they they learn coaching cues and uh they and uh they understand very well that uh making mistake is part part of the, the process the process so 
Uh, and the, the way we introduce actually the, well, how to say, the way we introduce the exercises, they prepare. So we, before they start to do power cleans, we prepare them with pools. So mm -hmm. the progression goes from it's simple gradual. to more advanced and uh, it's how, and reduces the risk. Well, this mm -hmm. is the reason, one of the reason actually I'm presenting this. The exercise selections reduces the, you know, the stress on the kids. Mm 